I'm Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. And today I am super excited to talk to you guys about what I think are going to be wedding trends for 2022. You guys really enjoyed my 2021 wedding trends video. And so today I'm super happy to be talking about 2022 wedding trends. These are things that I have gathered from seeing pop up in my boutique, what brides are talking about, things that I am seeing being pinned heavily from my Pinterest board and things that I'm hearing my wedding planner friends talk about. So I've just gathered these trends from a lot of different places and now I'm sharing them with you guys. So I have a lot of different ones to talk about. And the first one is one of my favorites. I am seeing that there is going to be a continuation of more color. I am talking about bolder colors or even just smaller, brighter pops of color. I think we are going to be moving away from these several years of just the ivory green or blush gold ivory green wedding color palettes that we've had. We had like years and years and years of that. People were just sticking to that very, very, very neutral, classic, timeless wedding color palette. And now couples are finally moving into some color, bringing some life and infusing joy into their wedding color palettes. And I am so excited about that. If you guys have seen my wedding, you know it was just a color explosion. I wore a colorful wedding dress. And finally, couples are starting to get a little bit more playful with their wedding color palettes and actually having some color in it and moving a little bit away from neutral. So I am excited to see more of that in 2022. Now the next one is the feeling of intimacy. So in 2021, we saw a lot of smaller guest counts because of COVID restrictions. And I think we might actually be moving away from that and having larger wedding guest counts this year for 2022. But I think that people will want to have the feeling of intimacy, even if they have a larger guest count, they want it to feel cozy because we are so used to being alone and isolated at our homes and feeling very cozy and comfortable in our homes by ourselves. And we want to kind of keep that comfortable feeling of feeling kind of surrounded by coziness from the walls of our homes. So whether it be having hedges around a larger venue to make it feel smaller, having family style meals at the table to have it feel more comfortable, like a home setting. I think couples are going to want to make their weddings feel intimate, maybe having lots of candles on the table, really anything you can do to have it feel intimate. Even if you have 300 people, just making the wedding feel very cozy. I think that's going to be a trend that we are going to see for 2022. Now the next one is more black tie weddings or just more formal weddings and not as many cocktail or casual weddings. I think that people, because they were cooped up at home for so long, they are now ready to feel fancy and get dressed up. Everybody's been in their sweatpants and pajamas and leggings at home. Now they just wanna have an excuse to get really, really fancy at their weddings and go for black tie or black tie optional, get formal, wear a long, formal, beautiful dress, wear a tuxedo or at least a a suit and tie have a very formal atmosphere to their wedding when do you have the chance to do something like that not very often so i do think that we are going to start seeing more black tie weddings for 2022. now the next one is really fun and exciting i am definitely seeing way more of this and that is themed weddings so for example think something like bridgerton Bridgerton is something that I am seeing a lot of in styled shoots and weddings. We had a bride come to my bridal boutique here in San Diego. It's called The White Flower. You should check it out if you're in San Diego. And she was looking for a Bridgerton inspired wedding dress. And we actually did have one. It was a leftover Haley Page from when we used to carry Haley Page. And we had a sample off the rack that was an empire waist style dress. It was really beautiful. I'll show a picture here. And she bought it and she was in love with it. And she wanted to have a Bridgerton themed wedding. So that's what she's going to be doing. And we are seeing a lot of actually Bridgerton themed weddings pop up. That show was super iconic and it really left a mark on brides wanting to get married. So whether brides are going to be doing something small, like serving tea at their wedding and having a Bridgerton inspired dress, or they're going to be going all out and having those things plus tabletop full of rentals with very like vintage 
Bridgerton era inspired um, plates and cups and all of those things and even florals inspired by Bridgerton just really the sky is the limit we are going to be seeing a lot more themed weddings so Great Gatsby, Bridgerton, anything like that that you can possibly think of themed weddings are definitely going to be in for 2022. Next one is something that I've been seeing more of and I did a video on this and that is mixed gender wedding parties. So no longer do you have to have all female bridesmaids for your wedding party and all male groomsmen for your wedding party. You can mix it up. If you have guys and girls in your wedding party, then that is great. You can have all kinds of friends in your wedding party. You don't have to stick with one gender. You can definitely mix it up. I had a bridesman or man of honor, whatever you want to call it, in my wedding party because my friend Chris is one of my best friends and I wanted to include him in my wedding party. So I had two women and one man in my wedding party. So if you have a mixed gender group of friends, by all means, include those best friends in your wedding party. So I think we're going to be seeing more and more of this in 2022 because people want to include all of their best friends, not just one set of gender in their wedding party. This next one I also have a video on and that is mixed matched bridesmaids dresses. That is really hard to say, mixed matched bridesmaids dresses. And this is something that I think is really beautiful because not only does it look gorgeous in your pictures because it provides a variety of textures and patterns and prints or even just colors, but it also allows your bridesmaids to choose their own dresses and get them something that they feel comfortable in, not only maybe from the color or from the cut, the silhouette. This is just a really great way to allow them the choice of a dress, maybe even something that they will actually wear again, but it is so beautiful in the photos. And if by any chance you are hoping to get your wedding published, this is something that can give you a leg up in that because blogs love to see this because it is unique and it is very inspiring. But I just love this look and I think we're gonna be seeing more of this in 2022. The next one is overskirts. An overskirt is a detachable skirt that goes on top of your wedding dress. It can either be fully enclosing the skirt of your wedding dress or it can be open in the front to expose the front of your wedding dress. And I am seeing more brides in my bridal boutique interested in purchasing overskirts. So I think we're gonna be seeing more of these in 2022 or even just in general detachable two in one styled accessories for wedding dresses that are going to give you multiple looks for your wedding day without having to buy a second dress. I actually have a video all about multiple outfits for your wedding day. I've got a lot of videos for all of these different themes, but this is going to be something that we are going to be seeing more of in 2022 are these accessories for your wedding dresses, but over skirts in general, I think we're gonna be seeing more of for sure. I've seen a lot of brides interested in purchasing these in our boutiques, so I'm definitely excited to see brides accessorize their wedding dresses for 2022. Another thing that I'm definitely seeing more of from our brides at the boutique and in my photography, I just booked a Tuesday wedding with an amazing bride, our weekday weddings. A lot of the 2022 weekend spots are already booked up because 2022 has way more brides getting married just because of like the COVID postponements and just the surge of brides coming in and grooms coming in uh, for 2022. So a lot of couples are having to choose weekday weddings or just maybe couples just want to choose a weekday wedding even if maybe they didn't want a week weekend. Um, so we are seeing a lot more weekday weddings. Weekday weddings can often sometimes be more affordable because venues are willing to have lower food and beverage minimums or maybe lower site rental fees on weekday weddings. So there can be pros to them, of course, but we are definitely gonna be seeing more of these in 2022. And lastly, this one is really cool. I've seen this at some of my weddings and I think we're gonna be seeing more of this are hiring live artists for your wedding. So what I mean by this, our live event painters, which is really cool. I haven't had one of these at my weddings, but I hope to for next year. And that is when you get a painter or some sort of artist to paint maybe a drawing or a picture or painting of your wedding. So a scene from your wedding. So they get there, they start painting out a scene and they fill in all the details from your wedding. They show it to you at some point in your wedding and you get to see what it looks like. So I'll include someone's Instagram photo from here. I think it's really cool. I've also had at one of my weddings a caricature artist where they will do caricatures of your different guests. They come in, they have a seat, 
they get a drawing or a painting or whatever it is and it's really cool and then you as the couple can have one done so guests get to take these home it's a really cool favor and then you get one from your wedding so i feel like live artists are a really really cool entertainment piece as well as kind of a favor or a really nice gift for yourself from your wedding so i think we're going to be seeing more of this type of entertainment as well as a gift for yourself for 2022 weddings so that is it those are a lot of different trends that i expect to see for 2022 weddings comment down below which one is your favorite and also if you are new here be sure to subscribe i put out videos every single tuesday unless i sometimes miss one but usually i'm good about putting out videos every single Tuesday. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!